going on guys Bo here at Legend Barbell and today I'm going to go over a few training tips for the Nautilus seated row. So first off we're going to establish the range you're going to be performing the movement in. Typically I'm going to have an extended grip and just to where my fingertips touch the grip I'm going to scoop back as far as I can on the pad so that I have a constant tension on my lat and the fully stretched and the fully contracted position. The second step is going to be your arm pass. So I'm not going to be pulling with my hands. I'm going to be pulling with my elbows and my hands are simply just going to be a placeholder so I can keep the load on my hand and pull with my elbow. So as you demonstrate, I have an open hand grip because I'm not going to allow any of my arm to take over all the tension on my back. I'm simply just going to pull with my elbow all the way forward and then all the way back your third step is going to be posture obviously i'm not using the foot grips in this demonstration of the exercise i'm going to take my non-working hand and place it on the pad to kind of anchor myself down into the bench i'm going to grab the weight i'm going to offset my feet so i have a stable balance and then with my chest you're going to see as i pull I'm not gonna be twisting my hips. I'm not gonna be pulling back to create excess momentum. This is all strictly just pulling with my lat. No momentum involved, and that's how you're gonna feel a greater mind-muscle connection. And also, all the tension is gonna be solely on your lat. And the last step is gonna be tempo. I'm not throwing the weight. I'm not using, like I said before, momentum to help me generate force to pull back. I'm gonna be completely in control the entire time you're going to pull back, maintaining control, slow on the negative. And as you see, I'm not dropping the weight onto the machine. It's staying on my lat and I'm keeping constant tension throughout the entire movement. That's it for today. My name is Bo and I'll see you in the next one.